right, what's going on guys? So after targeting kind of bluegills and panfish, mostly for the last couple weeks, maybe even for the last month or so, today we're going to get after some uh, bass, go for peacocks and largemouths. We're going to be going with this little Nico tadpole right here, green pumpkin color, first time using it. It's a great little lure, super stretchy and super durable. Nice uh, tail action because this thing bounces around in the water really, really well. We're going to throw this on a small little 1 8 ounce jig head. We're going to cast this around this lake. Hope to get into some peacocks and largemouths. So let's give it a shot. All right, so here's the lure that we are going to be going with. It's on a 1 8 ounce jig head. I think the size 2 or size 3 hook, which is perfect for the length of this lure, because you really don't want the hook going into the tail portion of the tadpole, just the body. One thing that I really love about this lure, besides the fact that it has a really nice action and produces a lot of bites, is that it's so small that if a fish bites it, basically the whole thing is already going to be in its mouth. Like sometimes when I'm fishing that Nico Helgramite, a fish will kind of just bite onto the end of the lure and not get the whole thing in its mouth before I set the hook. So this thing though, it's so small that even if a fish just kind of takes one little swipe at it, it's probably going to get the body of the lure in the mouth and not just the tail. So. Let's jig this thing back to us, and let's get into one. There we go, fish on. First one of the day. It doesn't feel big, but it doesn't feel small either. So let's see what this ends up being. It's not really pulling too much either. What is this? Oh, he's, oh, it's a Mayan. Not a big one either, nope. Ah, oh. he's down in these weeds here. Oh man, these guys always put up a great fight. Ah, uh, let's see if I can pull him through here. Oh man, <laughs> oh, I really hate these Mayans. There we go, got him on up, but he's still pulling. First fish of the day, come on up here. All right, our first fish of the day, <clears throat> not even a big one, but a mine cichlid that is really annoying to catch. They put up a nice fight, but sometimes they can be a real pain too. So, oop, let's drop that guy back, and let's get back to it. There we go. This one feels a little bit bigger, not by much though. Not putting up much of a fight. Is it another mine? He's pulling straight down. Probably is, and he's wrapped up in these weeds again. Yep, it is another mine. A little bit smaller, I think. Let's get him on up here. All right, fish number two is another annoying Mayan. So, so far, no large mounts, no peacocks. Hopefully, we can get into some and not just these cichlids. Another great thing about fishing these lighter lures on lighter tackles is that you can cast them a mile. I mean, this, this distance from shoreline to shoreline isn't that great. Probably somewhere over 100 feet though. And I'm still almost able to cast it all the way up on the other grasses. So I'm able to work shorelines here by only staying on one side. And all I've been doing, nice steady retrieve, 
popping it up off the bottom every second or so. And that's produced a couple of hits here, but so far, no large mouths and no peacocks. Here we go, fish on. Again, doesn't feel big. Uh, that's a large mouth. Oh, he's off. All right, so we got a nice little drop off here. I'm gonna work the edge of the drop off. I've been able to pick up a fish or two here at times. Not, not often though. Not as often as you would expect for a nice drop off like this. Oh, fish on. Oh, it's a peacock. Not a big one either. But let's pull this guy in here. Those mines put up a better fight than this guy. All right, we got our first peacock of the day. So better than a mine cichlid, but this guy is not that big. Probably a little bit over 12 inches. So let's drop him back and let's try to get one more. All right, we're back to the same general area where I started, picked up those two mines and lost the one large mouth here earlier. The sun set a few minutes ago, so we are extremely short on daylight, but I'm gonna try to pick up one more here before I've gotta go, because not the best day. I'll need two Mayans and one peacock in an hour and a half. Oh, I got a fish on. He hit right as I was getting ready to make another cast. A little largey, we're calling it on this one. Alrighty, this guy hit right on the edge of this drop off. I was getting ready to just flip my jig over so I can make another cast. And he hit it. So, not a big guy, but I'm happy to get one more here at the end. So we're calling it on that. All right, so that is going to do it. Not the best day, but I guess that's why it's called fishing and not catching, but hey, we still managed four of them in about an hour and 45 minutes or so. Everything came on the Nico Tadpole Green Pumpkin Color 1 8 ounce jig head. This large mouth here really made me happy because without that, it would have been a pretty, pretty big disappointment, but we managed four, kind of saved the day there. Still a nice way to spend a couple hours out here on a Wednesday evening. So, hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time.